guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Savannah and today I am in my bathroom because we are going to be finding out if you can get a professional quality groom grooming your dog at home. So in today's video, we are going to do a comparison. I am going to be grooming my Sheltie Cross Boomer in my tub with some simple tools that most people probably have at home, not using all my fancy grooming tools. And we are going to put that side by side comparing what a groom turns out like when I groom him in my professional mobile dog grooming van. I took a bunch of clips to make this video and it's just gonna be a voiceover. And also throughout this video, you will get lots of tips and tricks of how you can get the closest to a professional quality groom at home. Okay guys, to start, I'm using a slicker brush, a Furminator undercoat rake, and also a metal comb. I decided to use these products because they can be easily found at PetSmart. And I do usually start my grooming process in the van for a professional groom with brushing out a dog like Boomer, getting out all the undercoat. The only difference is I would probably also use a dematting comb, but that's harder to find for the everyday person. So I'm trying to keep this as authentic to if you were grooming your Sheltie at home. So right now, here's a comparison of what it looks like when I groom him in the van and uh, doing it on the floor at home. So we're gonna speed this up now, I'm just trying to get out as much undercoat as I can so that I'm not wasting water and shampoo in the bath. It just saves time and also saves time on drying too, considering we're not gonna be using a professional blow dryer. And I predict that the blow drying is probably gonna take a while. Okay, so this is what he looks like, one side of him all brushed out. And now I am moving on to brushing out the other side of him. Pro tip, if you are doing some grooming on the floor with your dog, put a leash on them so they can't run away from you. Or if it's a small dog, you can put them up on your counter with like a towel underneath them to keep them from sliding. But make sure they're not the type of dog that's gonna jump off the table or counter for you or have an extra set of hands on them. So now I'm just putting the metal comb through his coat to make sure there's no t knots or tangles. So this is the amount of fur that we got off of him. The last time I groomed him was probably about 11 or 12 weeks ago before my daughter was born um, and Gracie laying on her playmat. And this is the reality of grooming your dog at home. I am covered in fur because I'm not wearing my grooming clothes. Now I am mixing up some shampoo. I don't have any like low quality shampoo, so I am using my normal grooming shampoo. So this is a concentrate that you have to mix with water and we shake her up, getting ready for the bath. Now we are getting set up for his bath in my bathtub and I'm getting ready to break my back. I know this is gonna be difficult. So a little water cup to rinse him off, a leash and also some old towels. I'm putting one on the ground and then I'm also putting one on the toilet seat there that I will dry him off with once he has done his bath. And my shampoo I mixed up. Now before we put him in the bath, I'm actually gonna trim off some of his leg fringe to save me some time in the bath. I'm sorry, this is like a horrible angle, but as you can see, there's like three inches of fur that I'm just gonna cut off at the end anyways. So I figured I'd take a little bit um, off right now before we put him in the bath. If you are going to try doing this at home, cut downwards like this, not up towards their body. This just helps prevent you from them accidentally moving and then you cutting them. Okay guys, now it is bath time with Mbumi. You can see how it looks a little bit differently compared to when I groom him in my tub. At home, I am getting into the bathtub with him. I figured this would be easier, but let me tell you, it was still uh, backbreaking, honestly. I give props to all house call groomers that go into people's houses and groom dogs in tubs and sinks. 
it is not easy. So for the at-home groom portion, I only shampooed and rinsed him once. In the van for his professional groom, I usually do shampoo, rinse, shampoo, rinse, and then conditioner rinse. So if you are at home and you want a professional shampoo, I suggest you do that. The conditioner I suggest for almost every single breed other than breeds that have more of a wiry coat. I have to say one of the most difficult parts other than having to bend over and be in the tub with him at home is rinsing him out. As you can see, I'm just using this pink solo cup to rinse him. I don't have a shower head that comes down to rinse him. So this part took a long time because he has so much fur. At home, please make sure that you rinse out your dogs really well. It helps to not irritate their skin from any shampoo that didn't get rinsed out. Now I am just squeezing out all of the excess water in his coat and then I'm going to towel dry him as much as I can because I know that the human hair dryer is going to take a long time to dry his coat. Moving on to his blowout at home here, I made sure to definitely have a leash on him because he does not like getting blow dried and I know that this is going to be a long process for us. So I'm just going to be using a human hair dryer because I'm sure that's what you guys would have to use at home if you were grooming your dog. In the van, as you can see, I have a high velocity dryer. Now how this is different is that it blows the air really fast and hard. It doesn't heat up, but that pressure just literally pushes out all of the water super fast. I like to compare it to one of those hand dryers at the mall that like moves your skin. Very similar, but you have to be careful with it around like ears and eyes and whatnot. So right now I'm trying to like brush out his fur a little bit straighter just because I can tell since the human hair dryer is taking so long to dry him, his hair isn't drying as straight as it usually does with my high velocity, it's drying really curly. Um, so I know that that's going to make for not as good of a finish for the groom, so that's why I was trying to brush him out. But yeah, just lots of drying here. So this is him kind of like halfway dried. And I'm showing how up top here he's really curly because it's taking so long to dry him. Moving on to his other side, I decided that it would be way more comfortable if I was sitting on the floor, not bending over from the toilet. But I keep checking my phone here so I could keep track of how long it takes to dry him. And it ended up taking a little over half an hour, which is very long. And as you can see, this is where I stopped and he isn't even totally dry. He's still really damp on his feet and all over. He's just slightly damp. I just didn't want to put him through any more than half an hour of drying. Also, if you're using a human hair dryer at home, please make sure to use the cool setting because you don't want to burn their fur because it's going to heat up, especially if you're drying your pet that long. So please use the cooling setting. I should also mention when I dry him in the van, it probably only takes me 10 to 15 minutes to get him 100% dry. So right now I just have him up on my counter. I'm brushing him out quick. I am just using some regular scissors that you would find in your junk drawer. I really do not recommend these for, crimp, for trimming dog's fur. So I suggest even if you're doing some at-home trimming that you get some cheap dog grooming shears off Amazon. Lots of them are actually great. I will link a few down below, but as you can see in the van, I'm using my clippers instead of the scissors. Also doing the scissoring technique on the pads like this can be dangerous if they mood, move. It's more likely for them to get cut. But I wanted to show how, how somebody might try to do this at home. So I actually did one side of him with these scissors and then the other side of him I did with my professional shears to see if they would make a difference. But honestly, 
like every groomer says it is all about the prep the bath and the blow dry is going to affect how your groom turns out because even on the side that i used my professional shears and my thinners it really didn't come out any better than this side right here so it literally is all about your prep work I noticed right here that his one back foot keeps slipping so if you are going to put your dogs on the counter I suggest you put down a towel and also maybe have an extra set of hands if they don't stand as well as Boomer does. Okay so I do a little bit of trimming of flyaways from around Boomer's ears here so you're going to see a side by side shot of doing it at home and doing it in the van. So at home I'm using these gross scissors that are leaving marks everywhere and in the van I am using some thinners that are creating a nice smooth effect. Look at his face here. <laughs> Okay guys, so get ready in one second here. We are going to see a comparison. Okay, so comparing them side by side, you can see that the one of him in the van, his fur is a lot more straight, a lot more sleek. It looks a lot smoother and softer. This is probably because we did a double shampoo, but also definitely because of the conditioner. And you can see on top of his back there how curly he is. I think you can tell that the professional groom does come out sleeker and smoother and just a little bit better, but if you want that professional quality groom at home with a similar type of dog, do the double shampoo and conditioner and invest in a high velocity dryer. As you can see, this is Boomer's before. And then here is his after with the at home groom. So as you can see, still a huge step up a lot better and again here is the professional quality groom you can see that it is sleeker and smoother but you can get a pretty good quality groom at home just apply some of the techniques i talked about the double shampoo a really good rinse a conditioner and a really good rinse and invest in a high velocity dryer it really is all about the prep work i want to thank you guys so much for watching today's video if you haven't already i encourage you to hit that subscribe button down below as i'd love to have you stick around and become part of my family on YouTube. Thanks guys, see you next time.